Alright, episode 4 of the Terraria series. I did a tiny bit of things off camera. Um, first thing I did was I added a little bit to the house. I added this thing here and I added a little bit to the window here just to add some like greenery to that. Um, another thing I did off camera was I found the meteorite over here and I completely mined it out and I got 603 meteorite out of that so that's pretty cool. So that will allow me to make one of the phase sabers today. Another thing I decided to do is I did get rid of my sand guns. I decided I didn't want to deal with all of the um, sand being thrown everywhere. Main things I want to do today is I want to get the final life crystal I need here. I'm at 380 health, I just need one more life crystal. I also want to do what I said I'd do last episode with finding the two weapons you can get out of the underground desert. So hopefully this doesn't take too long, but I mean I guess we'll see. Oh, we've got our first house here already. Ancient chisel, angel statue, and recall potions. Very cool. Ow. Alright, let's see. Where all have I been? I have been over here. Um, there's a lot more underground jungle I can explore in probably both directions, honestly. Oh, I forgot I also need to try and find an extractinator, because I got all these desert fossils, and then weren't able to use them at all, because I never found an extractinator. Ah, oh, there's the last life crystal I need. Let's go. Oh, no. Forgot those traps existed. So far, I'm a little surprised by the lack of the uh, little desert houses so far. Hopefully, we'll find more of those soon. Ah, there's another tomb crawler somewhere. And now that I think about it, another thing I need to get is I need to get a whip. I never actually, I've no I don't think I've ever actually used a whip. And the few times I did, I didn't use them properly at all. Ooh, we found. Oh, there's an extract in here. Let's go. Ah. Uh... We didn't get the thing. Dang it. I mean, that's still something cool to get, so I mean, I don't really mind getting that. But that's not exactly what I'm looking for right now. No, still didn't get it. Yes! We got one of them. We got the magic weapon I was looking for. Unfortunately, it has the annoying debuff, but I mean, at least we found it. Oh, we got another chest here, finally. Will this have the last thing I'm looking for? Probably not. Oh, it does! Alright, awesome. And we can do the Eye of Cthulhu again if I really decide I want to bully that boss again. Alright, so we got the two items I was looking for. We got the Storm Sphere and the uh, other thing. This thing. Thunder Zapper. Yeah, so I think that's all I really wanted to do for here. So I think I can just move on and do Skeletron. Oh, I probably should bring some kind of buff potions with me, shouldn't I? Now, honestly, I think I might end up using the Thunder Zapper more than the uh, Storm Spear. Because the Storm Spear is cool, but the projectile goes literally nowhere. And this thing shoots, like, really fast, and the projectile goes far. Oh, I just realized, I have a magic conch. I need to remember that I have that, because I don't have to walk all the way over to the oceans now. I am unfortunately getting to the dungeon at, like, the end of the night, so... Uh, we can't really do much of anything with it right now. I mean, that's fine. It, uh, it gives me more time to try and grind out the uh, Ancient Shadow stuff while I'm over here. I'm actually realizing once again that I forgot my Bast statues. I need to get those. Alright, and... Bast. What? Rain Song. Okay, well that's cool. I don't think I've ever actually gotten that item before. That's a really random thing to get. Crazy how long I've been playing this game and I still... I'm discovering stuff like that. Oh, come on, are you serious? The sandstorm better not still be going when it's time for me to fight Skeletron. I will be very upset. Maybe I could place walls and it would be fine. Like, I don't think you get the effect behind walls. Oh, you don't? Time to cover my entire arena in walls, apparently. Oh, and of course the sandstorm ends as I'm doing this. Now, the thing is, if I stop doing this and I summon Skeletron, it's immediately going to start up again. I don't think another sandstorm will spawn, uh, but if it does, I'll just have to try my best to stay in this area. It's not a very big area, but I also don't feel like placing any more blocks, so it, I, I'm sure it'll be fine. Alright, I think it's just about time to start fighting the Skeletron. Here we go. Buff. Skeletron fight time. Why am I trying to hit the head? That is just not... I've screwed this up terribly already, somehow. Uh, whip. My frog can now focus in on that one hand. Hopefully. No, I'm out of mana!
What am I doing? I'm like jumping directly into his head for some reason. I definitely didn't make the best arena for this, but I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, I'm gonna switch hands. No, if I can hit the hand. No, goddamn zombie. Hold on. Ah, oh, okay, thank you, Fallen Star. I appreciate that. I think we actually can do quite a bit of damage to the head now, which is nice. This zombie! Can it go away? Ow. Ah! I gotta try and kill that zombie. Before it ends up being the death of me. I'll try my best not to use a healing potion during this. I don't know why I feel like doing that. Okay, well, I mean, I definitely have to then. Oh, the other hand's gone. Perfect. Ow. Shit. This is not the ideal way of this going. No! Oh my god, I jumped right into that. What am I doing? Uh oh. See, this thing overall just does a lot more damage. Oh no! Oh, come on! Oh, wh where did his hand just come from? What the heck? <laughs> his hand just magically reappeared. What was that? <laughs> okay. No wonder we were doing so little damage to the head. Oh, now he's shooting a lot of the skulls now. That's not very cool. You know? I could really use another heal because the skulls do a lot of damage now. Which I'm not a happy about. This zombie, it's still here. And it's... <laughs> Getting really annoying. Hey. Come on, Fallen Star, hit it! <laughs> no! So close every time. Ah! Yes! Thank you, Fallen Star. 900 damage, that was very nice. Ow. Ow. I'm not dying the last second. Come on. A second Fallen Star hit would have been awesome right then. There we go. Well, we didn't really need it.
Okay, that fight was a lot closer than I would have liked it to be, but I mean, that's fine. Anyways, we got the Bone Glove now, that's pretty cool. Bone Glove is gonna be very helpful when in the dungeon. Yeah, I guess the only thing for us to really do now is actually go into the dungeon, so... No, I, while I'm down... Actually, no, I can't be on the lookout for a Water Bolt, because I use Water Bolt all the time, so no Water Bolt for me. That's sad, I just now realized that. I'm trying to think, what things from the dungeon can I use? There's not very many. Oh, mechanic. Uh... Slime thing. I don't have a key. No, that's one of the um, town slimes, and I can't get it because I don't have an NP. I don't have a. Oh no. Okay, I just gotta have this thing like follow me around and try my best to keep it alive until I get a key. No, it just died. Oh rip. No, I did it again. Are you fucking kidding me? How did I do that twice? All right, attempt two. Let's not kill ourselves with a dart trap this time. Oh, we got a Nazar already. Alright, we can finally open one of these golden chests, because I have, like, four keys now. I still want to try and keep at least one in my inventory at all times, in case, again, that time town slime shows up again. Now, I did get a uh, magic missile, which is, a, which is actually a weapon I don't use very often at all, so I am interested in using that. I might replace it my Zappinator for now. My god, this thing is insane. Why have I never used this before? And we got a warding tally counter. Ooh! I found one of the uh, biome chests. Definitely gonna try and mark that there, so I can find it again when I'm ready to come back and get it. Oh, I do see there's a water bolt there, right there. That's annoying. Ooh, Valor! That's another weapon I never use. It's the uh, first yo-yo we'll be using in the series, I think. Have I used another yo-yo before? I don't actually know. I think we're gonna use the Valor in place of the Storm Spear, just because I think it has a tiny bit more range. Oh, we got another Nazar. I don't think I have these lanterns. Yeah, I don't. And I see the Town Slime. Yeah. Yo! Oh, we got a, uh, another Biome Chest over there. Aqua Scepter. Yet again, another weapon I don't use ever. Now that I think about it, I don't think I use like any of the dungeon weapons ever, except maybe the Miramasa and the um, Blue Moon, which is kind of stupid. <laughs> I don't know why I never use any of these items. I'm actually going to get rid of the uh, Thunder Zapper, I think, now that we have Magic Missile and the Aqua Scepter. Oh, this thing goes a lot farther than I expected, than I remember. Like, I remember it used to only- for some reason I thought it was only like this much, not like that far. Ah, Blue Moon, we can't use that. I just- as I just said, that is a weapon I use like all the time. Magic Missile number two. Cobalt Shield, let's go. I would have liked a handgun since I don't use that weapon ever and probably will continue to not use it honestly. Ow, 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 ow. God damn it. <laughs> I feel like this video is going to be pretty short though because all I really did was fight Skeletron and invade the dungeon a little bit. But I also don't really have anything else I want to do right now. I guess, I guess this is where this video will end at. I hope it's not too short.